Hello children, did you know that some plant stems are so strong they can even be used to build things. Bamboo for example is a type of grass with a stem that's really tough and strong. People around the world use bamboo to make all sorts of useful stuff like houses, furniture and even tools. That's cool, isn't it? Now, let's learn some other interesting things about plant stems. A plant is mainly divided into two parts, the root system and the shoot system. The root system lies beneath the ground and we usually cannot see the roots. The shoot system, however, lies above the ground and we can see the plant shoot. The part of the plant that grows above the soil to get air and sunlight is called the shoot. A shoot has different parts. Can you name the different parts of the shoot? They are the stem, leaves, flowers, fruits and buds. The stem is the main part of the shoot. And it has many important functions, about which we will talk about later in the video. Children, did you know that all plant stems are not the same? Different plants have different kinds of stems. Stems can be soft or hard, weak or strong. Let's first talk about stems of trees. Trees like mango and coconut have thick, hard and woody stems called trunks. So, go to a garden or a neighborhood park and feel the tree trunk with your hands. They will feel hard and woody to you. Next are the herbs. These are small plants having soft green and delicate stems. For example, coriander and mint. Next type of plants are called shrubs. These are short woody plants with several stems growing near the ground. Rose and bougainvillea are examples of shrubs. Next, let's talk about climbers. These plants have weak stems that need support to grow upright. For example, money plant and grapevine. Now, let's talk about the plants called creepers. These plants have very weak and soft stems. They creep along the ground as they grow horizontally and therefore they are called creepers. For example, watermelon and pumpkin. Children, did you know that in some plants, the stem grows below the soil and stores food for the plant? Such stems are called underground stems. We also eat them as our food. Can you tell the name of these underground stems? Yes, you have got it right. It's potato and ginger. Potato and ginger are the underground stems that we eat as vegetables in our food. They are both healthy and nutritious. Sugarcane plant also stores food in its stem and we get delicious sweet juice from the stem of the sugarcane plant. And did you know that the sugar we eat is also made from the sugarcane juice? Dear children, now let's talk about the different important functions of stems. Number 1. The stem provides support to the plant, keeping it firmly fixed to the ground so that it doesn't fall or break easily. Number 2. The stem carries water and nutrients that are absorbed by the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plant 
so it acts like the transport system of the plant. Number 3. The stem also carries the food made by leaves to all the other parts of the plant. This helps the plant to grow and remain healthy. Number 4. Stems of some plants store food and are eaten as vegetables. Examples are potato, ginger and sugarcane. So children, this is all about stems and their functions. Next time you marvel at a towering tree or pluck a fresh herb, remember it's the stem that keeps the plant standing tall and healthy. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Subscribe for more fun videos and give a thumbs up so that I know it was helpful to you. It's bye for now and see you next time.